because I, yeah, I think I want to be a skier. Everyone, I hate snowboarding. We went down mid-July this year when the parks started to build up, there were jumps, the crew was down there, the weather was good, it gave us some time to train and have fun before the comp started to kick off the year. The Torabrite Mini Shred was the first event of the year. It's held at Threadbow. Threadbow builds this awesome park for all these young kids to come and ride and learn new tricks on. There's a bunch of guest coaches and I was lucky enough to be one of them. So happy that we've got the sunshine. Over a hundred kids showed up and it was just coaching these kids, helping them have fun and learn and all these progressions throughout this park that Threadbow has built. After a few weeks down the snow, me and the family went home for a few days, just catch up with friends, have some downtime, go to the beach, see the animals. It's awesome to just chill out for a bit. When we're at home, the two local news channels, Win News and Nine News, both did reports on me and my brother. So it's awesome to be getting the support and the publicity from our local community. So big thank you for that. Thank you guys. The surf and sand might not be where Mia Rennie does her best work, but it's home. I couldn't imagine growing up in the snow all the time. It's just like always being cold. I love skiing and I love the snow, but you need a break sometimes. With her daring tricks and fearless attitude, Mia Rennie has emerged as one of the next big things in Australian skiing. This year's been awesome. Fifth in the slope style and seventh in the half pipe. At 15 and 12, Mia and Kai Rani are not your typical teenagers. And then to your upright 720 safety grabs. Returning from four months on the road, Mia now holds the World Six ranking for Big Air Junior Skiing after finishing seventh at the Junior World Championships in Sweden. They're both busy balancing school and sport, with Mia preparing to head to New Zealand for the Women's World Cup and Kai focusing on his first free ride world tour in September. I aspire to be like her, so just that good. Rebecca Davis, Nine News. The Sydney Snow Week was an event held by Jared Hughes in the middle of the city. There was a rail set up in between all these skyscrapers out the front of the Greenwood Hotel. It was an insane feeling hitting this rail with all these people coming in and out of their offices, out of these skyscrapers and watching you hit this rail, there was DJs, there was chicken snitzels, there was friends, it was such a fun vibe. Playing 20 questions with me? Ah! How good are frozen oranges? 
Frozen Iron. Oh my god, you got an 18 Frozen Iron. Cut it in slices and freeze it. It's the best thing in texture. So. <laughs> you gotta take the stick out the door, around the corner. Kai volunteered, he said it was so annoying. No, I said, I don't know. You're up there, Greg. I did the recycling and I had to do two laps this morning. Hang on a second, who usually does the recycling? Me. And the bin. Me. Well, no, no, no. Me. Get out of town. Traveling around the world with a whole team. What is your favourite highlight of you know your travels and your training and your trips? I really thrive on seeing you guys achieve new things. Um, I get just as nervous as you guys do in the start gates with competitions and things. And that, like <laughs> I try to hide it. <laughs> like, one of the biggest advantages of me being in this role is I've been allowed to give some young kids opportunities to go and ski against some of the best in the world and like for yourself when we came here to your first world juniors and I you saw <laughs> we saw the competition and we saw that you know what we're here the benchmarks there it was so it was a I big saw, leap but it was achievable best advice i've been given probably came from me <laughs> <laughs> That would probably be, I just farted, you might want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go in that bathroom. <laughs> um, probably a really good one is set yourself achievable goals. And yeah, because little ones you get it day by day. Fun. Working hard <coughs> and achieving my goal. <laughs> I hurt my knee in the big air training for the ANC Cup the day before the competition. So I had to have back to snow testing and I had to get approved to be able to compete today. So I had all these obstacles that I had to jump over and things to breach and goals to hit before I would be able to go back to competition level after I'd hurt my knee in the training day. My knee got the all clear so I was able to compete in the big air comp. Yeah, throw up all over the landing. The comp went well. I landed all of my troops in qualies and crashed a few in the finals, but ended up with first in the Open Women's and second in the overall Fist ANC Cup. So that has earned myself a World Cup spot, which I'll be using this year for Big Air. Yeah, I thought you were good. Maybe like another meter of air and you would stop it. Enough that you can flip it, it's all right. Well, it's an S-shaped landing, right? Yeah. So the only way to make that landing consistent is to really sharpen up that knuckle. And in first place is Mia Reneni. <laughs> 